Salutations, Cosmonauts! So this episode, I want to collect uh, Nickel, Cobalt, and Palladium. And we're going to get that on Jaffa 2A. So Jaffa 2A is uh, a temperate rock-type moon, and it has three distinct biomes. But all the resources can be found in two. So our primary target is going to be here in the hills. But this other stuff, this plutonium can be found in the sandy desert. And uh, it should be like a volcanic region too, so volcanic. So it seems like the volcanic and the sandy deserts have the same minerals. And this is what's cool about this moon. Yes, yeah, so all three of those minerals that I want are located in the hills. So that's cool. And then when I do decide to come back and uh, collect plutonium and iridium and uranium, I just have to go into either volcanic or the sandy desert. So that makes things very convenient. This is another great moon in the Jaffa system. And if you're so inclined, if you like to punish yourself, if you could find two uh, biomes that are a biome that butts up against the hills, then you could potentially collect all six of these resources in one outpost, but I don't recommend it. The headache and the time spent and the frustration trying to find that perfect spot to me is not worth it. All right, so you guys want to see how I did? It's rainy. It's a pretty cool uh, moon, I guess. But anyways, this is how I did. All right, so the cobalt, look at that, so much cobalt. The nickel, so much nickel. Palladium, oh my god, so much palladium. <laughs> and I want to start off with the cobalt. And I'm going to do five again. Radius overlaps. Yeah, you know me, I'm not too precious about this. Just place them, and if you don't like it where you place it, you can move it later. So there we go. And let's place uh, three uh, solid storage boxes. And uh, yeah, I know I keep saying this, but all the resources that I'm using here is in the description down below. But now your shopping should be so much easier because you only needed to what, buy what nickel and tungsten, I think, this time. Everything else you could actually farm up, your copper and all that. And you should at this point be able to make your own adaptive frames and your own zero wire. So yeah, enjoy it. So solid storage, we're gonna go with five. All right, that's five. Then I'm gonna collect these guys. Connect these guys. That's good. Now connect our extractors to the bottom box, our in box. That is a beacon. And just like that, the cobalt is is connected. They're being extracted and stored. And now I'm going to do my nickel. And I guess I'm going to try to keep these close together, so I'm going to use this patch. I got two patches I could work with. It doesn't seem like I could group these closer together versus the cobalt. Hmm, very weird. There we go. And I'm going to place this storage next to this storage. Five more. There we go. That's five. That was pretty quick, Boda. I mean, JT, I know. I'm getting fast. The muscle memory is starting to kick in. All right, then connect the extractors to our new boxes. It's so nice just having everything all nice grouped together here. And then uh, finally, uh, the Palladium. And yeah, nice and close, nice and clustered, just the way I like it. Nice centrally located, won't have trouble finding any of this. There we go, that's five. Woo, it's really bad weather. Good thing this uh, resources is good.
Okay, that's five. Connect these up now. Look at that! What is that, less than five minutes I got all the extractors and storage down for this? Oh no. Sounds like a ship. I better take a look. Alright friends, you know I gotta check this out because I don't want to be jumped. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's a good thing uh, I checked it out. It was Verun Zealots, man. They would've been on top of me in no time. This is a Bandit's ro ro Robotics Facility, by the way. You guys like my new uh, Spacer Raccoon? I got it for free, you know. All right, now where was I? <clears throat> oh yeah, I was gonna start connecting up my um, my cargo links. So let's do my outgoing cargo link first this time. Let's place this one right here. All right, now I'm gonna set up my uh, collection cargo location. And it's, this is all solid storage, so yeah, I'm gonna do five. Yeah, five sounds good. Get rid of the one I accidentally created here. All right, let's connect these up. Since I'm here, I'm going to connect this to my cargo link. There we go. And then connect all my storage here to my uh, collection storage. It's going to go into the bottom over here. And this one too. All of them. Okay, so this is pretty much set up, so I guess I should do my power now. Okay, this planet you could either do wind turbines or solar arrays, but I choose to do the solar arrays because um, I have uh, resources, aluminum, beryllium, copper, I can get as much as I want from our established bases, whereas this, cobalt and nickel, we've only just come across it. So, solar arrays it is. And um, I guess I'm just going to bunch them up all over here. What's cool about the solar arrays is when you start building habs and stuff, you could actually place your solar array on top of the hab. I thought that was always cool. Alright, so that's all the power. Everything is running. So now let us set up our incoming cargo link. And this one's gonna go right here. Alright, and now the cargo for this cargo link. All the incoming stuff. And at this point... We've got so many resources collected and stuff. I want to create a, a little bit larger buffer than I normally do. So I'm going to do 10 uh, solid storage. So yeah. Oh no, my frostbite was cured. It's five. And then I'm going to create another one right here. Um, Actually, I don't want these to actually be connecting. You know what, doesn't matter. Let's just do it. Now I just gotta come up with an ingenious way to connect these. I guess I'll just do the old zigzag, and if I forget how I have it linked up, all you have to do is open up your... This, this mode, and you can see the connection, so I guess it's not really that big of a risk of forgetting how you connect to things. Well, let's just zigzag this. A little bit more chaotic than I like, but... It'll work. There we go, and then connect this one... To, uh, incoming. Oh, no, no. Wrong. Wrong! You actually want to go from here. There we go. Incoming, and I guess I'll connect it here. See? Now, if you, like, forget which one is your, uh, in incoming box. You know, just look at the red line, man. Alright, so now I'm gonna create, uh, five, uh, gas and five liquid, uh, containers for our other resources. So let's do the liquid first. I'm gonna do five of these. Can they all be that easy? Huh. All right. Connect these. There we go. Then connect this. Yeah, I screwed up. I put this into into the top when I shouldn't have. So yeah, when you make a mistake like that, just delete it. Just hover over it, and you can just delete it. I actually want this to go into um right here, my number one inbox. That'll be this one. There. Alright, and then connect this to here. 
I can't believe I did that, man. Such a rookie move. All right, right. so now I want to create the gas containers. Let's, uh... No, don't snap over there, you sons of bitches. All right, I want uh, five of these. All right, and then I'm going to connect these, man. So starting with the bottom, move up. All right, that's all connected. Then connect these over here. I probably should have put those onto the side. You're just going to have to walk through a, a mini, like, wall here to get here if you wanted to. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go over my uh, mental checklist. Resources collected. Check. Uh, storage for those resources. Check. Power for the stuff. Check. Uh, collection cargo. Check. Cargo link going out. Check. Cargo link coming in. Check. Storage for all the cargo coming in. Check. All right. So, all I have left to do now is to rename my outpost and um, set up my cargo link, my incoming cargo link. Nice. And since I'm just standing here, let's go ahead and do this. Give us some time to start coming in. All right, so it should only see one possible one yet. There's the chlorine, the chlorosiline, chlorosilinase, the copper. That is now linked. I feel so good. And now rename my stuff. All right, time to rename it. It almost feels like a ceremony, man. All right, so this is Outpost 4, and this has um, Nickel, uh, Cobalt, and Palladium, which I don't remember the elemental symbol. So I'm just going to call it Pala, or Palladium. That is done! The collection ship is already leaving. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to connect these three cargoes to outgoing link. I can do that. So these, the output box is going into the output uh, cargo box here. I should, I really should write down my checklist and not do the whole mental thing. <laughs> It'll make for cleaner videos at least. All right, so I connected it like. Yeah, I shouldn't have stacked these together because now I don't remember which one is my out outgoing. Let's gamble. I'm going with this. I don't recommend you guys doing that. Separate your boxes or come up with a better system. Alright, connect this here. Alright, so everything should start getting shuffled over there. And hopefully with enough cargo boxes here to help move uh, the pipeline along. Because right now, like, stuff like aluminum. All the resources from the first base is kind of uh, monopolizing some of the shipment. In the end, it's not going to matter because our final base, our... If I do have a distribution base, which I think I could actually... We are limited to um, three cargo links per base, but with perks, you can up it up to six, I think. So having a distribution outpost is a thing. I hope you can hear me. That's loud. All right, so everything is definitely working. This is my outgoing cargo link uh, box here. And you can see it's got a little bit of everything. Palladium, chlorosinase, co cobalt, copper, nickel. I'm not seeing like aluminum and stuff yet. So there must be some crazy bottlenecks somewhere going on. But that'll get sorted out in the end when I have my end location with a really big storage to really just be able to funnel everything through. So that's Outpost 4 in the books. Uh, so if you guys are following along with me now, so the only um, resource now that you actually have to buy is tungsten. Because so far we haven't needed titanium because we haven't created storage boxes for manufactured goods. But once we start doing that, that's for stuff like, you know, zero wire and your adaptive frames. That's what would go in there if you wanted to store that. So yeah, next outpost, the only thing we're going to need to buy is tungsten. So that's pretty cool. And the next outpost is going to have tungsten as a resource that we're going to mine. So I'm pretty excited about that, man. All right, things are going well. I'm feeling really good about this series so far. I'm feeling really good about the development on my outpost. It won't be long until uh, I start considering uh, building my main base. Or at least a temporary main base uh, for storage needs so I could dump all the cargo that's on my... Um, ship temporarily but anyways guys thank you for coming by i really appreciate your support and i'll see you in the next episode 